everybody just a quick video looking at a few art deco sleeves from the 30s 20s and 30s i'm going to listen to phyllis robbins doing uh lullaby of broadway this is jack payne and his band elements of the art deco style in the lettering up here on imperial this classic Art Deco kind of sunburst. Here's just a superb Deco Supreme Records. Same both sides. That wonderful Art Deco design. This is another one, another Decca, of a very different kind of style. Salon Decca, so it has an element of it in the writing, the Art Deco style, but far more traditional looking, much more 1920s. And here's another one, this is a 1928, this is quite a rare record, it's a... Um, it's a, she recorded her speakeasy, um, Coffee Dan's, a very famous speakeasy. Frank Shaw, A Night at Coffee Dan's on Brunswick. Now this is Rex Records. Not dissimilar to the Deco one in some respects, same sort of colouring. And a strange kind of design, really. <laughs> you know, where the cutout isn't in the cutout of the record itself. In the later 30s, they switched to a red sleeve and uh, called themselves the King of Records. traditional look to it. So I love this dance record emblazoned in orange across it. It's stamped on there in a really modern style. And the same on the rear. Because that's what these records were for. Most of them were dance records and dance music is all this it was all the rage. It was what people did. Hot jazz being a really big thing you know and a lot of these say foxtrot or rumbo or something on them so you know what you're getting this is a, a classic now there's a very ordinary sleeve parlophone variety series not particularly nice but i love this flip latest record news christopher stone writes every friday in the news chronicle this is 1935 and the only way to get your information back in the day was waiting for the news chronicle and uh, so cool dudes like this can inform you about all the latest releases lovely stuff anyway that's it i'll see you all later